Congressman Roy, start voting to defend a country that kills and targets journalists. Stop defending Israel with impunity. But we wanted to bring up the issue about all of the journalists who've been killed in Gaza. And I want to read a quote here from the Secretary General of Reporters Without Borders. He says, the 103 journalists who've been killed are not numbers. They are 103 voices that Israel has silenced. 103 fewer witnesses of the catastrophe unfolding in Palestine. 103 lives extinguished. If the numbers show anything, it is that since October 7th, no place in Gaza is safe, no journalists in Gaza is spared, and the massacre has not stopped. We reiterate our urgent appeal to protect the journalists in Gaza. It's easy to get lost in the numbers, but here is Mohammed Abu Hattab. He was killed by an Israeli shelling on November 2nd, uh, 2023. Abu Hattab was killed along with 11 members of his family. This is Sari Mansour. He is a Palestinian journalist. He was killed by Israeli shelling on November 2nd, uh, 2023. And I have Ahmed Badir, Badir, Palestinian journalist, killed in an Israeli airstrike into the Aqsa Martyrs Hospital. Badir was standing in front of the journalist tent at the hospital gate and died when a shrapnel hit him. This is Salam Mima, Palestinian freelance journalist, killed by Israeli drone strike on October 13th, 2023. Her body was <clears throat> recovered from the rebel three days after her home in Jabalia refugee camp, situated on the northern Gaza Strip, was hit by an Israeli airstrike on October 10th. Ala Alhams was a Palestinian journalist who was killed by an Israeli Air Force strike on February 12, 2024. Alhams was a 35-year-old Palestinian journalist for the local Palestinian news agency. She succumbed to her injuries after being seriously wounded in an Israeli airstrike on her family house in Rafa City. Saeed El Tawil, Palestinian journalist killed by Israeli airstrike October 10, 2023. Congressman Chip Roy, we just wanted to educate some people before the hearing started to let them know that five journalists have been killed every week in Gaza surpassed the number of journalists killed around the entire world in the past year. And this is a picture of Samu Abu Dhaka. Abu Dhaka, a camera operated for Al Jazeera Arabic, was killed by a drone strike while covering the aftermath of nightly Israeli raids on United Nations school, sheltering displaced people in the center of Khan Yunus. According to Al Jazeera and Reuters, he was trapped with others injured in the school, which was surrounded by Israeli forces and unable to be evacuated for treatment. This is Shireen Abu Akleh. Abu Akleh, a Palestinian-American and acclaimed correspondent for the Doha-based media network, was shot in the head while covering an Israeli military raid on the Janine refugee camp in the occupied West Bank in May 2022. Hamza al Dadru is a Palestinian journalist and camera operator killed by Israeli drone strike January 7th. Hassam Abdallah. He was a Palestinian journalist killed by Israeli shelling on October 13th. Protect the journalists in Gaza. Protect, Protect the journalists in Gaza. Gaza.